Do you remember when you first learned the chain rule? It was always the most useful derivative rule. Even if you don't remember the exact formula, I'm sure that your hand knows how to use it in computations. Let's go over that classical chain rule. Let's say you've got two functions, f and g, one input, one output, then their composition, f composed with g, and that's what that little circle guy means. It has the following derivative. I take f composed with g, look at the derivative at a, that's the derivative of f at g of a, times the derivative of g at a. In other words, the derivative of the composition is the product of the derivatives. Okay, now at this point you gotta be careful because you need to evaluate the derivative of g at a, but the derivative of f at g of a because of that composition. Now, another way to write it is, let's say you've got y that depends on u, but u depends on x. If you want to know how y depends on x, that is the derivative of y with respect to x, then what you do is you take the derivative of y with respect to u and multiply that by the derivative of u with respect to x. Now again, be careful with those evaluation points. If you want this evaluated at a, then you evaluate du dx at a, but you evaluate dy du at u of a. Okay, really what we're saying is that when you have a composition operator, that gets converted to a multiplication operator when you take derivatives.